Welcome to Cisco Training Videos. My name is Trevor. I have a quick concept for you today. This video is going to teach you how to utilize the tab key feature when you're on the CLI of a Cisco ASA firewall. Let's begin. The tab key is a built-in function on the Cisco ASA CLI that will auto-complete keywords that you're trying to type. Many people feel the tab key is useful when they're issuing very long and hyphenated commands because it will auto-complete that keyword that they're typing. Here's an example of the tab key being used. Let's say the command you're trying to issue is show run. If you press tab, it'll auto-complete it and turn that run into running-config without having to type anything else. Keep in mind that the tab keyword complete feature will only work if the keyword is unambiguous. What this means is that you've typed out enough characters in the command so that the firewall can decide with certainty what command you're trying to issue. Let's say if you wanted to do show run but you only type show r and you press tab, nothing's going to happen. It, the moment you press tab, the keyword will not autocomplete, and that means you haven't issued enough characters to make the command unambiguous. When I press question mark right there, the firewall knows that there are six different commands that start with the letter R. When you add additional characters, though, you start eliminating those options. So if you type show R U, show running config is the only viable option. So you can press tab at this point and it'll auto-complete it because it's the only option available and the firewall knows with certainty that this is the command you're trying to issue. I rarely use the tab feature. The reason why I don't is because of the concept that I just explained. The Cisco ASA will accept the command as long as you've typed enough characters so that the device knows with 100% certainty that that's the command you're trying to type. It knows it for sure because no other commands exist on the device that are possible using the characters that you've typed. An example is the following. If you want to get into global configuration mode, the command that you need to issue is configure terminal. Let's say you don't want to type that all out though in order to get to global configuration mode. All you need to do is define the fewest characters so that the firewall can accurately determine what command you're trying to issue. If you type in conf, there's no other commands that start with conf so the firewall can assume that you're going to use configure. And if you type T, there's no other options that you can configure except terminal. So what I'm describing is you can just press enter at this point and the firewall will accept it. There's no need for you to type conf and then press tab and then space and then T and then press tab. It does the same thing if you just type conf T. Honestly, the only time I'll ever use the tab command is when I'm teaching somebody and I want them to fully see the syntax of the command as opposed to them remembering the short truncated keyword. Okay, so now you might be wondering, oh come on Trevor, that's pretty lame. Why don't you just press tab? It's only one button. It's not a big deal. Just press tab and look at the full syntax. Well, I mean, the answer is it's all about efficiency. Uh, on a daily basis, I probably log into 30 different firewalls and issue hundreds of commands in order to troubleshoot and update environments. And I want to be as efficient as possible, so I'm not going to push the tab button if I don't need to. However, like I said, when I'm teaching somebody, I think it's extremely important to understand and know the full syntax of a command. So I'll always press the tab, and in the training videos when I'm trying to teach you things, I'll press the tab key so that you can fully understand what syntax I'm issuing in order to accomplish a task. So there you have it, the tab feature on a Cisco ASA. A great feature to use when you're learning or when you're teaching. Not quite as useful when you're fast and efficient, though but it's still a great feature to be knowledgeable on. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.